scarlet and gray, maize and blue. Every November, the air cools and the leaves fall and the colors mix on a furious palette for an annual prize. It's a game of legends and legacies, history and hostility. Bow, Woody, Archie, Charles, the big house, the horseshoe, dot the eye, cue the victors. It's not just game time, it's time for the game. It is indeed time. Big Ten titles. The man who could use a big win in this rivalry game is Rich Rodriguez. On the hot seat here in his second year, three and nine last season, worst record in school history. They didn't go to a bowl game for the first time in 33 years. When they started 4 0 this year, they thought they were on their way. But they've lost six of their last seven, including six straight Big Ten losses for the first time in 50 years. Ohio State won the toss and receives. Brian Wright kicked off for Michigan. And the 106th meeting is underway. Ray Small. Pulled down as he crossed the 25 yard line. Tackled by Troy Wolfo, the starting defense. After the play fake, prior to Dane Sansenbacher. And a first down, 12 yards on the first play coordinator here. His unit's given up 400 yards per game, 89th in the country. Devere Posey. The catch and another first down out to the 49 yard line. Kevin Leach. Or chance for an early stop on third down and nine. Up top, Brandon Graham. Pryor all day to throw. Takes the check down and a good open field tackle. Stevie Brown, the senior, playing in his final home game. Took down Brandon Sane. Who is best outside the pocket, not inside the pocket. When he's inside, he rushes himself. He's like in the pocket right here. he's in trouble. He dropped the ball in the end zone. Free at the goal line. And it looks like Cameron Hayward has it for an Ohio Touchdown. Well, Sean, you said it. He was right there in the pocket. And that's where he has struggled the most. Guard, Rich Rodriguez and the Wolverines in vision. Devin Barclay, last week's hero, is overtime field goal, beat Iowa. He adds the extra point, and they're glum already in the maize and blue. Not the scarlet. They need to be. They need to be in third and manageable. That's when they operate the best in their offense. They got it off quickly, but 4 CA's throw is incomplete in the direction of Greg Matthews. We'll see if they wind up in a BCS Bowl. We know Ohio State will. They'll be in the Rose Bowl for the first time since after the 96 season. Prior up and he's so big and strong he almost got away but could not Mike Martin former state wrestling champion finally wrestled him to the ground and lost his helmet in the process and that's Mike Martin number six I four three in the 40 freshman from Deerfield Beach Florida and he takes off running as a nice hole and a first down Seven yards for the man they call shoelace because he leaves his shoelaces untied on the field. Look, which puts a lot of pressure on your five interior linemen. Swing pass. Roy Roundtree. First down all the way to the Ohio State. 22. 21 yard gain, Austin. Five. Ohio State leads seven to nothing, but Michigan is on the move. Quick throw, and Matthews had to go to the ground to catch it. No gain on the play. And here comes the field goal with the fumble. Olus Novich had a good year, 10 out of 13, but you saw lately a little iffy, and that one's wide right. From 24 yards, the fifth year. Times they'll get you for a big one. Four wide receivers for Pryor. Again throws it in the flat for Heron. And the one on one tackle is made by Stevie Brown. A yard short of that first down. Very well 
in defeat last week at Ohio State in a memorable game. Corsier's in trouble. Turns the corner, lofts it up for Matthews. It's caught. And apparently Forcier was still behind the line of scrimmage. First down, Michigan. Ball marked out in seven. Forcier, nowhere to throw it. Now fires first down, 40 yard line. Lateral Savoy. Check that, Daryl Stoneham. Forcier throws. And it's incomplete. Broken up by Anderson Ruff. He got, he made his move first, and Heron cut off of him. And of course, we jinxed him, and they get the big play. Play action pass. Pryor throws wide open receiver Devere Posey. And another first down for Ohio State. Out to the 38. One word on the practice field about Justin Bourne this week. Terrell Pryor. Stop short of the first down. That Michigan defense heavily critical. Football later this afternoon, they'll reveal moment number 10. Tate Forcier, a lot of time, and finally finds his man. It's Greg Matthews for a first of line that has really missed David Molk, their starting center. Yeah, they have. But this is the position they didn't want to be in. Forcier throws on the run, and it is a catch and a first down at the four yard loss. Forcia has a man caught round tree to the Ohio State 39 first down Kurt here that's a shoe from the offensive line and it's back at the 47 Forcia to Matthews another first down to the 26 yard line Anderson Russell made the tack Forcia 12 out of 19 passing for 130 yard dumps it off short and Carlos Brown is dumped Senior running back with limited playing time lately because of bad knee. Simon did that. Jason Olis Nabich, a 46 yard try, and that one is good. Just a chip shot from 24, and then he. 112 pounder Bryant Browning, junior out of Cleveland. Prior flush. Now he takes off. And he lowered his shoulder and bounced into Stevie Brown. Another third down for Ohio State trying to convert for the first time and they do as same powerfully built at 6 1 217 that quarter the tackle Justin Bourne inside and Bruce to the center prior the fake and lots of running room There's no question about the talent sometimes the Ohio just ran past everyone. Prior the preseason Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year. Many thought he'd be a Heisman Trophy candidate. As a sophomore, handed it off, and that's going to be a touchdown for Brandon Sane. 29 yards. It's the classic misdirection. And you get that Michigan defense flowing one way because of what Terrell. Out and Sane, the touchdown. It's Fourth of the year. Second week in a row, he's had a pretty long touchdown run. He had that 49 yarder last week against Iowa. This one covered 29. And Ohio State leads Michigan 14 to 3. In the days of fire. EA on the field with Denard Robinson also on the field. Corsier's going deep, and it is incomplete. Intercepted. And intercepted. They wanted a call. Kurt Coleman came away with the ball. He was looking for Denard Robinson. And the Ohio State fans celebrating. In every game where it can go one way or the other. You can't let this get away from you if you're the Michigan Wolverines. Pryor trying to get away. Throws it away. Big step right there, Sean. That's great awareness for Terrell Pryor. Instead of running up seven losses or more for the first time in school history. They lost nine last year. They're five and six right now. Forcier got rid of the football. The officials looking at each other. Thaddeus Gibson was in hot pursuit. Words in the back of my mind. Youth is wasted on the young. <laughs> Red insane. 
Wrestled down by Troy Woolfolk at the 40. One catch for Sands and Bacher today for 11 yards. Four wide receivers now for Terrell Pryor. He's seven out of 13 passing, and that one's too hot to handle. And intercepted on the ricochet. Jonas Mouton. First turnover for Ohio State. We mentioned just moments ago they played two turnover free games. The last two against Iowa and Penn State. For CA with Denard Robinson also on the field given plenty of time now he has all kinds of running room and he dives down they're going to give him the first down and that might be a goal from here about 52 yards the long for Ellis Novage is 51 there's no wind right now slant and a beauty first down Greg Matthews with a perfectly thrown ball from Tate force for you his zone. Forcier looked to the sideline for some help got some additional signals Forcier has running room again and has a receiver wide open Vincent Smith great move touchdown a couple times when Forcier scrambles Second receiving touchdown of the year for the true freshman. His first was last week against Wisconsin. Extra point up and come in and he's he's been in on a bunch of a bunch of plays. Yeah, Zay was their leading tackler last year, number two this year. There's a big hole in that defense. Insane carries out to midfield. First down. And he's rushed for 80 on 10 carries. And now it's Heron's turn. Another first down. Ohio State. Now ahead by just four, right back to the bread and butter. It's to what you were talking about. Pryor bounces outside. Coach Max said, "I remember Jim's young assistant. We go Start getting the same thing, and you know you're starting to own the guy in front of you. Just keep on giving it to me." There's plenty of running room on the outside. Dan Heron around the corner and inside the five, marked out at the two. He could force a field goal try. Third and goal. Here comes a blitz. Little screen. Great call. Flag down. Touchdown if it stands. Dan Heron. That looks like you could be roughing the passer, and that is Sean. A great call. You called it. Anticipated the blitz. They came with the blitz. They just snuck the back football game. Went away. A win today would give them 10 wins or more for the fifth year in a row. Barclays extra point makes it 21-10. Ohio State leading Michigan. 4:46 to go in the third quarter. Their worst record in school history last year, three and nine, in year one under Rodriguez. Vincent Smith saw Forcia fake it to him, dump it off. Roy Roundtree, lots of running room and great speed. And with the angle, he was caught by Anderson Russell. But Roundtree goes all the way to the bucket. Down 35-yard line, nearing 12 minutes to go. Ohio State leads by 11. Forcia throws it up for grabs, and it is intercepted. And now ruled incomplete. Kurt Coleman thought he had it. He held it up for the official, but ruled out of bounds. Well, and I think it's because, or I believe it's because he finally he got control of it. Kurt Coleman, the senior. For the review, the defender had firm possession of the ball with a foot down inbounds. We have an interception. Ohio State's ball, first down at the six yard line. I want to show you how he got there. They were showing a cover three from him in the play. Yep. You think that he would keep it and run, and he does. And he spins very near the first down. Looks, Looks like short. he's going to be short at the 15 by a little less than a yard. Important ifs in your life, visit MetLife.com today. Forcia throws running room after the catch for Vincent Smith. First down. And he is marked out at the 37. Well, in the days of Bowen Woody, this would be power football. For Michigan today, it's spread and it's effective. First down, Robinson. And he's down to the 10-yard line. It's a sustained offense. They come up to the line quickly. Forcier the fake. Nifty move. Throws. Oh. Intercepted. Devon Torrance. Another critical error by Michigan. But well played by 
Devon Torrance. 15 games. The Horn Frogs, third and 13. And prior, they were ready for that. Graham again. Yeah, Brandon Graham just waited on it. And he, he, he saw the mesh point. That's the where they tried. And they'll probably like to speed up the tempo as well. Under 15 seconds on the play clock as they get it off. Forcier dodged the rush, has a receiver open, but throws another interception to Thaddeus Gibson. He had a receiver open behind Gibson, but threw it too low. And Thaddeus just raised his arms and snatched it out of the air. And that's what Rich Rodriguez was gesturing. Throw it over the to school. I think Rich Rodriguez will get another year. I'd be stunned if he didn't. He would be shocked. That's the word he used. Pryor on fourth down. Didn't get it. And they turn it over on downs, and we turn it over to Holly Rowe. Well, I actually spoke with Rick. They'll be disappointed with this result if it stands this way. Penn State, Iowa, and Wisconsin, they were all hoping for a Michigan win to get perhaps a chance for a share. My goodness, there wasn't a blue shirt within 30 yards of that ball. There are and their quarterback, Terrell Pryor, is very efficient and making good decisions. Ohio State's now won two in a row in Ann Arbor. They've won three straight now in Ann Arbor. They haven't done that since the early and mid 60s. It has become a one sided rivalry. Jim Tressel talks about how in this rivalry you have an opportunity to make a name for yourself. In the final for a complete wrap up will be on ESPN News in just a few minutes. For Matt Millen, Holly Rowe, and our entire crew, Sean McDonough saying so long from Ann Arbor. Let's send you back to John Saunders and Jesse Palmer in our Times Square studio.